Oh, on today's episode of Anime Afterthought, a certain scientific railgun season 3 episode 25, my dear friends. Finally, Railgun T's finale is here. It's been a long time coming, but now that it's here, I'm kind of sad it's going to be gone. Looking back, season 3 is tremendous. Not only do we get our first glimpse of Gunha, which by the way, you guys were absolutely right. He is ridiculous. I mean, my God, where has this Esper been all my life? Not to mention Misaki Shokuho, really giving her the spotlight and highlighting that she is Mizuka rival, but we bore witness to the actual potential of Railgun. Yes, with Mizuka's 5.3 transformation, we saw but a glimpse of what Academy City is trying to do with the level 6 shift. In terms of narrative, it truly pushed the story forward, but in terms of franchise, there's a lot riding on this season. A potential fourth season of Index, the main series, that which will usher in the New Testament. Due to a rushed third season of Index, it seems to be riding on Railgun's success. So fingers crossed that the exact or whoever's in charge of green lighting another season can still see that this railgun index the Tuaru universe still has so much to offer. Anyways, with my wishful thinking out of the way, let's begin once more as we head into the fray with the railgun season three finale. So the battle between Mizuka and the doppelganger is fully underway. She's already realized at this point that there is no such thing as soul possession. Did she pull her punch at the last second or did she completely blow her ass away? Oh, she pulled her punch. Is she having an existential crisis? Does she want to die? Oh, so she's doing this just basically to die? Tormented by the fact that she doesn't know if she even has a soul. Oh, I kind of feel bad for her. Oh, she wanted to pull a kamikaze with that and take out that, take out the actual information as well. So this was all an attempt to kill herself, knowing that she couldn't because there was a failsafe involved. Ah, I knew you were going to do something like that, you weaselly little fuck. Yeah, she's put a lot of faith in the scavenger right there, isn't she? Oh, what? No. He fucking shot her. And then runs away like a little bitch. Is she going to give her some of her parts? <gasps> she is. <laughs> She's offering herself. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, now I feel really sad. Whoa, she's going to reset his brain? I want to know exactly what the fuck she just did right there. <laughs> Still not giving up, are you, Kuroko? Yeah, they're like frenemies. But I will take her Toma away. <laughs> there really never is a dull moment in Academy City. Wow, is Sake really playing into this? I do like the idea of adding a new member, though. <laughs> Wait, do they not know that he's a boy? Haha, <laughs> gotcha, fake door. Okay, so they're obviously well aware that Sake's a boy. Are they gonna ditch their contact? Or are they just trying to barter something? There's someone at the other end of that one. Aw, sister time. Yay. Now this is 10032, correct? The one with the goggles. Congo, yay. <gasps> Something she's been keeping a secret for a fucking long time. Yeah, this is 10032. And the cat's name is Dog, correct? Oh, I bet Congo likes having nicknames. <gasps> oh, we got Dolly. Wow, they really are wrapping up this season, aren't they? What? I was gonna say, this gotta be some kind of dream, because I'm pretty sure uh, she's gone. Yeah, does that mean Indian poker is just gonna disappear? Or does it actually come back into play later on? So, wait, is she... Is she dreaming, or is that... It was like there was some kind of consciousness to her. Oh, something that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> I'm afraid to go to sleep. I don't know, it kind of kind of makes you like wonder, did she really have a soul though? Oh, so she's saying during their fight she actually had fun. She was fulfilled. There you go again, sad with your urban legends. Oh god. <laughs> All right, you're gonna get an, an outro message. Come on. See you in season four of Index. Come on. 
Ah, uh, poopy. Not gonna lie, I definitely had my fingers crossed there for a moment to see some kind of see you next season or Railgun will turn in Index 4, but I mean, there's hope, there's hope. It's critically acclaimed, universally loved by the fans, Mizuka is winning popularity polls left and right. Kinda sad she didn't win Heroine of the Decade, even though the other chick, I don't even know who the other chick is. I guess the last bastion of hope really does reside in the Blu-ray sales, which I, I don't know how to tell if they're good or bad. I looked up that, what is it, Omicron? or something 4,000 here 5,000 there I don't know if that's good bad I guess only time really will tell but there we have it guys that was the season 3 Railgun T finale Mizuka versus Doppelganger and it culminated in basically a self-sacrifice like living with this existential crisis was too much for this cyborg to bear did or did I not have a soul was just too great of a question so this was all an attempt every single thing along this little journey we had from her escape to her Neville demise was part of her plan to basically commit suicide. What is it with these girls committing suicide? First we got Beatrice and ReZero and now we got the fucking doppelganger. Both bound by the inability to self-harm. Like, damn. You gotta feel for these little lovelies but in the end, it was up to Mizuka to bear the burden of ending this entity's life. I mean, we technically don't know and that last little bit featuring her and the real Kariba is, is a little scary. It makes you wonder, did she really have a soul? She's living on in the dreams the subconscious of the real one so yeah maybe there was more to it i'm i'm still wondering did she have a soul it <laughs> I don't know. But at least she's no longer bearing the burden of trying to discern herself as whether she does or doesn't. She can live on and in turn help the real one, even coming up with faults in her mother's cybernetic implantment and sense and shit. Like, I mean, <laughs> that whole situation is, uh, it's kind of bittersweet. It's kind of bittersweet. But I also loved how they wrapped up the entirety of the season by going back to Congo. We know that she was beaten to a pulp by Baba, the biggest piece of shit in the series so far, at least from the anime standpoint and he's now I think dying or dead. I don't know where exactly we are chronologically, but he's uh he got what he deserved. Not to mention 10032 has recuperated as well. And something that Mizuka has been keeping a secret since day one, she finally admits openly, this is my sister. And that's just an oh, it's an awe-inspiring moment right there. Not only wrapping up that little arc, but we see Misaki, Mitori, and yes, Dolly finally going out and looking at an aquarium, just having a nice little girls' day out. So yeah, I think this was a perfect wrap up to to a great season we had some amazing stuff like i said the introduction of gunha Mizuka 5.3 mental out i mean even something so nonchalant as indian poker has made a tremendous effect on this world and it kind of makes me wonder like are they going to bring that back because we do know that this series is amazing when it comes to continuity will it play something later in new testament i don't know i don't know um yeah overall this season did not not disappoint. It was absolutely stunning aesthetically, both the visual and audio. If season four currently is depending on the success of Railgun, I have high hopes. This season has been amazing. Not only all that, but talking to you guys in the comments below, it's just, I love it. This series is just so dense and amazing and chocked full of real world terminology and theories and aspects, science, magic, religion, like everything is thrown in there. And I can tell that the fan base is just as enamored as I am. You guys love to talk in-depth and Railgun and an even Accelerator and Astral Buddy and like everything. So I want to thank you guys for sticking with me for 25 episodes and fingers crossed we get plenty more. So with all that being said, I cannot wait for future episodes.